In this video, I will go over how to get OpenVRT up and running on Proxmox. A direct link to the download and all the commands I use will be in the video description. Let's start by setting up the network. On your Proxmox node, navigate to Network. If you wish to use a physical port, copy the name of it. Then, when ready, click Create, then Linux Bridge. The name of the physical port can be pasted in next to Bridge Ports. You can also give it a comment, so you know which interface it is. Then click Create. Then repeat the process, so you have a LAN interface and a WAN interface. When done, click Apply Configuration. You can now create the virtual machine. Click Create VM. Give it a name in the General tab. Then click Next. For OS, select Do not use any media. Then skip over system over to disks. Here you can click the little trash bin next to SCSI0, then proceed. For CPU, you don't have to give it much, and the same for memory. And then for network, change to one of the interfaces you created earlier. When that's done, click next and if you're happy with your setup, click finish. To add the second network interface, navigate to your OpenVRT virtual machine, then click hardware, add, then network device. Find the second interface you created in the drop-down menu next to Bridge, then click Add. Now to get the operating system, head over to openvrt.org. Here click Downloads, then Stable Releases, then scroll down to the latest version, then Targets, then scroll down to x86, then click 64. Here you can click Generic ext4 Combined EFI.img.gz. When it's finished the downloading, open a file explorer and navigate to downloads. Here you can open a terminal window by typing in cmd directly in the address bar. To transfer the file to your Proxmox server, type in scp, then the name of your file, followed by root, at, the IP address, colon, slash, tmp. Then type in the password for the Proxmox server to start the upload. Then you can connect to your Proxmox server. Type in ssh, then root, at, and then the IP address of your Proxmox server. Type in the password for your Proxmox server. Move over to the tmp file by typing in cd slash tmp. You can type in ls to see the files in the directory. To extract the image file, type in gunzip, then the name of the openvrt file. To import the disk to your virtual machine setup, type in qm import disk, then the ID of your virtual machine, then the name of the image file, followed by where you wish to have it, like local-lvm, for example. You can now navigate to your virtual machine on Proxmox. In hardware, you should see an unused disk. To add this, mark the disk, then click edit, then add. Now you will have to change the boot order. Navigate to options, then click boot order, then edit. Remove the check mark next to anything else than SCSI0, then click OK. You are now ready to open a console window and start up OpenVRT. Give it a bit of time to start up everything. Then you can click Enter, followed by PASSWD to change the root password. Give it a new password, then close the console window. To enter the web interface of OpenVRT, you can either connect physically or you can add the interface to another virtual machine. OpenVRT used the first added network interface as its LAN interface, so that's the one you have to use to be able to connect to the web interface. You should now be ready to connect to the web interface of OpenVRT. If you are unsure, you can open a terminal window and type in ipconfig then enter to double check the IP address of OpenVRT. But the default IP address should be 192.168.1.1. Take that over to a web browser and type it into the address bar. The default username is root, and the password is either blank or whatever you change it to in console if you did that. But OpenVRT should now be ready for use. I hope this was of some use. Thanks for watching, goodbye.